Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this video, we're going to take a look at AWS Workspaces. And I have used this service before, but it looks like they've changed it quite a bit, making it uh, a lot more uh, robust. Uh, I noticed that it does have a free tier here. I'm totally outside the free tier, but just be very careful with the service as it can get very expensive very quickly. Um, apparently, it looks like we have a faster way to provision this. So launch workspaces by choosing existing AWS directory servers or Amazon PPC. So if there is a expedient way to set this up, I would like to do that because when I went in here earlier, I was gonna set one up as a test. And then it was like, hey, you gotta set up a directory service. And I was like, oh no, because <laughs> those are a pain in the butt. But I can click on that setup button and we'll do our best here. And so we'll create a new directory service. Um, I don't know if I can utilize this in CA Central 1 because notice here, it's not allowing us to choose simple AD. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go back here and switch over to US East 1 because we want simple AD and simple AD is only available in the primary major region of each geographical location. That's gonna be US East 1 here. Um, and so I'm gonna go back over to workspaces and we're going to go here and, and we actually get a different UI apparently. So here we have a quick setup, which is what I want. And then we have the advanced setup, which is what I, I selected here. So I'm gonna do quick setup. And so I think what's happening here is it's gonna create simple AD underneath, right? So simple, simple AD, yeah. And we'll go ahead and create a user and we'll just say Andrew Brown, Andrew Brown, andrewexampro.co. We'll go ahead and hit next because it's a lot of work to, um, to set up simple AD. It's such a pain. So it's nice that they have that set up here for us. And this says, this is the free tier. If I go over here, free tier, free tier, standard performance. I'll say with performance, if it's free tier, that's fine by me. And so down below we have our options. So we can choose what we want to launch. It could be a Windows server. It can be Ubuntu. Um, if it's an Ubuntu desktop, I think I'd like to do that. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit next. Oh, well, just curious here. Oh, cool, they have things bundled with the Office Suite. But I can just choose Ubuntu. And we'll go ahead and say create. And so I'm guessing that's going to set up a lot of stuff for us, but it didn't create the workspace, did it? Let's refresh here. It may take up to 40 minutes for your workspace to be populated. So we're gonna wait a really long time. And the reason why it takes so long is because of simple AD. It just takes forever for that thing to spin up. So if we go over to our directory service here, it should be provisioning. Yeah, here it is, the, the simple AD, okay? And we do simple AD in another video uh, where we actually go in through and set it up. Uh, but I had to get Bako's help for that because I'm terrible at directory services. Uh, but yeah, we'll let that provision on its own. We'll come back and hopefully this will be really easy. Why would you want to use workspaces uh, versus just launching up a EC2 instance with a desktop? Uh, it's just that this has a lot of governance uh, and I think maybe compliance built into specifically workspaces. So um, in, Technically, you can go launch an EC2 instance and it'll feel like the same experience or similar experience, but this is like you are connecting it to a directory service and doing more stuff and there's bundles and all this other stuff. So I, I don't know if I made the sell well here, but my point is, is that yes, technically with EC2, you can launch up uh, desktops, right? I'm just gonna show that while this is launching here. We can go to EC2 here and we could go and launch something like a desktop so if I went here and just typed in desktop, you know, like here's one that says the mate desktop environment and we could launch that up. And technically we can go down here and, and not all services, maybe just Windows services, but you can technically join EC2 instances to a domain directory, but there apparently is more stuff here. And then there's obviously the offshoot of workspace web and these other things. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling here. I'm gonna wait 40 minutes. I'll be back here when this is running, okay? All right, it's been a while and it looks like uh, my instance is uh, now ready. We'll go over here, or at least my directory service is ready, I should say. And uh, it, it should have uh, maybe sent me an email. I'll go take a look and see if that is the case. So just give me a moment here and take a look. And yep, I do have an email here. So it says, your administrator has created you in a workspace, complete your user profile and download the following workspace client. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that link and we'll just proceed through. So here we can see this is our screen now. And I'm gonna make my password capital T testing, one, two, three, exclamation mark, capital T testing, one, two, three, exclamation mark. We'll update the user. And so now we've signed in, we can download the client. Right now I'm on a uh, Windows 10 machine. So I'm gonna download the 64-bit client. So we'll go ahead and download that. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. 
All right, so it's an MSI file. I'm just opening up that MSI, which is a Microsoft insta installer. And uh, I'm not sure if it opened twice. I don't think so. We'll hit next. We'll install it for all users on this machine. We'll hit next. We'll install this again. And we'll go through this process. So hopefully this is quick. I'll just pause here until it's done. There we go. And just waiting for it to finish now here. All right, so it says it's done. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish here. And now we need to launch the client. I'm not exactly sure where it installed. Just give me a moment to go find it. It's actually in my start menu. It's like the most recently added item. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I didn't show that on my screen here, but you know, you go to your start menu on Windows. And so that should start up the workspace client. So we'll just give it a moment for it to uh, get started. Here we go. And so it's given me, uh, in that email, it's provided me, as you can see here, this value. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Sorry about that. Some uh, YouTube video started playing that I didn't even know I had open. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the registration link in here. We're gonna register. Okay, and we're still waiting here. Now we need to put in our username. So it's Andrew Brown, capital T, testing, one, two, three, exclamation mark, sign in. All right, and so clearly there is a difference because we are using um, this workspace client uh, tool to connect as opposed to using something like remote desktop. So that is a clear distinction between launching our own EC2 instance and just using this. We'll give this a moment to uh, get this ready. Here we go. And so our environment is now ready. You can see we're in Ubuntu. And <laughs> give it a moment to figure out what's going on here. Say wait, I'm being a little bit too quick with this. And so now we have our workspace, which is really nice. So I can go here and I'm gonna see if there's any games pre-installed. Usually uh, Minesweeper is a good one to have here. Mines, there we go. And we'll just go here and just say 16 by 16. And we can just click around. And I'm doing pretty well so far. There we go, and I lost, so there we go. Uh, obviously we have some other options, so we can go here and disconnect the workspace. Okay, we'll close that out. And so basically that's all I really wanted to show you. There is a lot more to uh, workspaces than just what we showed you here. Um, but for what it does, that's all you really need to know. So we'll go ahead and we will delete this workspace and we'll say delete. So it's the following workspace and the information story will be permanently deleted. A works, uh, work doc site with 650 gigabyte storage is made available for users. The simple ID uh, are made available free of charge. If there's no workspace being used, the simple ID is around for 30 days. So the thing is, is that we have to be careful here because we need to tear down the simple ID because it doesn't seem like it's gonna do that for us. So make sure you go over to the directory service and we will choose our directory here. I want to delete this directory and we need to deregister de -register the workspaces first. Um, so I'm not sure if there is some way we can do that here. I also have to just delete that first. We can see the workspaces and enabled here, or at least it's being utilized with this. Um, so I guess we just have to wait for this workspace to delete. So we will make sure that is done. And then once that is deleted, we'll go and make sure we get rid of the um, simple AD directory service, okay? All right, so our workspace has been uh, stopped here. I'm gonna go back over to our directory service. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can delete it now. Delete, deregister the workspace. The workspace is gone. What's there to, uh, <laughs> to do here, you know? So I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna just give this a hard refresh. Maybe it just doesn't know that it's been deleted. We'll go ahead and delete this again. And it's asking to deregister it. So just give me a moment, okay? It seems that there's an AWS CLI command that we can use. So maybe this will be the best way to do it because uh, I don't wanna goof, goof around with this all day. So what I'm gonna do is open up, um, uh, I'm gonna probably do this in the same region because if it's simple AD, we need, might need to do this in the same region. So I'm gonna switch over to US East one and I want to grab our directory ID and I'm gonna go and open up Cloud Shell. And I'm gonna type in AWS workspaces and this one's going to be deregister, deregister workspace 
directory. And we'll say directory ID, and we'll paste that in here. Uh, I didn't exactly do what I wanted to do. We'll try this again. AWS workspace, workspaces, D register workspace directory, directory ID, and hit enter. And I think that worked. So we'll go back over to our directory service. Not here, sorry, this is just open from earlier. But we'll go back over to uh, directory service here. And we'll go ahead and see if we can delete now. There we go. And we'll delete that. And now we're deleting. And so now we don't have to worry about any, uh, any expenses, okay? So there you go. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao.